Simple chores are a big problem for Gilbert Banuelos. You don't think pushing a broom like this could wear you out, but it does. Within minutes, he has to stop for air, checking his oxygen meter. 98. Now, I'm back to normal. Once you had that oxygen, it makes a big difference. An incurable lung disease is robbing him of air. It's called silicosis. With each breath, you know, it's, it's, it's harder to get air into you, and it feels like uh, you're not getting enough air to your lungs. Banuelos got silicosis from working in a factory after high school. He packed bags of minerals that contained silica. Breathing in all that dust scarred his lungs, making it hard to get enough oxygen. And once in a while, a bag would get too much pressure, or it was a weak bag, and it would just blow up right into your face, get into your eyes. Yeah. So let me take a listen to your lungs here. Dr. Cecile Rose says the disease can take years to develop. So they're inhaling these fine particles of dust, which can generate the scarring reaction in the lung. Each year, more than 2 million people are exposed to silica, and around 100 people die from silicosis. So these are the nodules of silicosis, and it gets smaller, and it retracts. So this is what silicosis looks like. The disease affects workers from construction and sandblasting to oil and gas. We've seen it in workers who uh, are exposed to cement, especially grinding cement, because that may generate uh, respirable silica exposures. And of course, now we're worried about the possibility that workers in the fracking industry and hydraulic fracturing of, you know, to uh, mine out oil and, and natural gas may be at risk for silicosis. Dr. Rose is concerned because fracking uses a lot of sand to prop open a well so oil and gas can flow out. Trucks haul sand to a well site and transfer it into the fracking equipment. Moving sand from trucks onto conveyor belts and into the system can stir up a lot of dust. Three years ago, researchers from the National Institute for Occupational Health and Safety studied silica dust in oil and gas workers. The study found oil and gas workers were exposed to silica at levels higher than the government allows. In particular, workers moving the sand and blending it into fracking fluid. The problem with silica exposure is not new. As early as 1938, the government warned about the dangers. Scar tissue forms. Small at first, these scarred areas grow larger as time goes on. The Occupational Safety and Health Administration adopted the first limits on workers' silica exposure in 1971. Since then, scientists discovered silica can also cause lung cancer. Doctors, and even OSHA, say the exposure standard is outdated. I think for the current OSHA standard, the level of uh, allowable exposure to respirable silica is high and does not protect many workers adequately. OSHA has tried to update the standard for the past 40 years. Right now, they're proposing reducing the amount of silica you can breathe in in a workday to about 500 micrograms. That's about the amount of dust that would fit on President Roosevelt's nose on the face of a dime. The current limit is twice that. For construction workers, it's five times that. In 2013, OSHA again proposed an update to the standard. The Assistant Secretary of Labor for OSHA, David Michaels, made the case to the public in a video on silicosis. OSHA estimates that once this standard goes into effect, it will save hundreds of lives. It will prevent deaths from lung cancer, from silicosis. Industry groups oppose the new rules. The U.S. Chamber of Commerce said, quote, there is no need for or benefit from this OSHA rulemaking. The American Petroleum Institute said, this proposed rule is not technologically feasible for the hydraulic fracturing industry. The new rules haven't taken effect yet. In June, OSHA was still analyzing the more than 2,000 comments it received, two years after the proposal was published. In the meantime, some oil and gas companies are making changes on their own, using new technology to control frac sand dust. Canadian well servicing company CalFrac has its own system. Sandstorm. Rapid deployment, propent handling system, providing unmatched storage capacity, dust control, computerized automation, way on the fly, and ease of setup. As you can see, it's all enclosed, so there's virtually no dust coming out. Fred Tony is Calfrac's president of U.S. operations. Traditionally, trucks haul sand into a well site and then offload it using hoses and compressed air. But the sandstorm system doesn't need air pumps. It uses gravity. 
takes us nine to 12 minutes to unload using gravity. You go from eight people on a normal sand delivery system to three, and it is operated remotely uh, when we do that um, with reduced noise. So you have less people in any kind of areas of concern of exposure. And, uh, you know, it, it basically costs us less to operate in the end. It also keeps sand dust out of the air and away from workers' lungs. Tony says the new OSHA standards are feasible. With this sandstorm system, we're well below uh, OSHA, even the future OSHA standards. Enclosed systems like Calfrax have only been around the past few years. Silicosis can take at least a decade to develop. No one knows how many workers across the industry have already been exposed since fracking started ramping up in 2003. But it's already too late for other workers. Valerie Benuelos worries constantly about Gilbert, her husband of 35 years. This is your heart in the front, and this is your right lung and your left lung. And the way he breathes, if it changes, then I worry. And um, if I'm gone, if I'm away from him, I worry. If he doesn't <clears throat> answer my phone call or my text, I worry. Oxygen levels at 93, good. Most of Gilbert's co-workers from his factory days are dead. Hoping for a lung transplant, he visits the hospital for regular lung tests. I'll coach you the whole time though, okay? All right. Go ahead and in your mouth. Normal breathing. On the next breath, gently empty it. So empty, 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 empty. Deep breath in. Blast it out. There you go, 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 keep going, keep going, keep going. You're almost there, almost there. Three, two, one. Every year, it gets harder and harder to breathe. All right, that one was much better. For Inside Energy, I'm Anna Boyko-Wyrock at Rocky Mountain PBSI News.